Hello friends, in this tutorial, I'll be covering how to find the application consuming high CPU. There are quite a lot tools such as db 2 top the data server manager or the data management console. But in this particular tutorial, I'll be using the db 2 pd and I'll be using only two commands to pinpoint to the application con currently connected to the database, which is consuming the high CPU. So uh, let's start with it. What we'll do is we'll first we'll see the CPU usage. So let me quit and clear my screen. And using the top command, we will see that my CPU, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, the CPU usage is quite okay. The db2cc process is consuming higher than others, but it's not significantly higher. And I have quite, I have got quite a lot CPU left. So my CPU utilization is not currently high. So let now I I have a couple of okay so let's let's do one thing so what we will do is from my windows server windows machine i will connect to the database and i will fire this particular query which is nothing but it is doing just select count star from syscat dot tables so this particular query is going to increase my cpu utilization so i i know this but let, this is i know that this is the query but the aim is we are trying to find which is this application and Let's say I don't know the application handle. So let me connect to this. And once I once this query starts running, if you see my CPU utilization has increased and using the top command, we can see that this DBP is now taking 100%. And since I have got two cores, it is the total CPU utilization on this server is close to 50%. So we definitely know that it is the DB2 which is taking the higher amount of CPU. So that we know for sure. So now it is it is our responsibility to find out which application is the one which is taking the high CPU. And as I said, I'll be using only two commands, the db2 pd idus and the this particular command. So let's take this particular command, put it here and using this. OK, so let me just make it bigger. OK, so using this, we can find that there is an agent which is consuming 11.3. And this particular, so we can take a look at anything else. Okay, so we have another one which is, okay. So let's do one thing. Let me do a filter on this. So let me clear the screen and grab this. So now I got this couple of agents and one of them is this 194, which is consuming quite a lot of CPU. So the output of this is actually here, The the this is user cpu this is system cpu so we know for sure let me go back let me do this and we know for sure that this the 57 edu id 57 is the one which is consuming high cpu the next thing that we will do is we will use this particular command and we need to figure out the 57 edu is mapped to which application so let's go back and here if you see there is a coordinator UDU ID this and that 57 is currently mapped to application handle 39. Okay, so we from okay, so from this from the db to EDUs, I got the coordinator uh, ID, the EDU ID, and I took that EDU ID 57, and from 57, I try to find out what is my application handle, which is 39. So now if I do db2 list applications, so I got this 39 and that is coming from here. So now what I'll do is like I'll place this, I'll place this into my, if I want to know what it is doing, I'll just take the snapshot on that particular application for that application. So I'll take that and I'll try and then I'll try to find out what it is doing, what that application is doing from where, which server it is coming. And if you see, it is coming from my Urbi Asus PC. So it's a NT. So it is coming from Windows server and this is that application. So the, this, the, using these two commands, we were able to pinpoint that it, which application is able to, and then we can take the, uh, we, we can take the necessary action. We, if you want to terminate the application, we can terminate or we can find out the SQL, which has been executed that, by that application. So we can take further action based on 
but first we need to need to find out which application was consuming high cpu so using these two commands we could find out the application handle and once we find out the application handle we can use this particular command to get more data about our application i hope this tutorial was useful thank you for watching and see you in next video bye bye